Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to consist of me showing you the Evo, but first of all, let me show you my dinky wheel I made. Dinky wheel? You're wondering what I'm on about. Literally, a steering wheel that is dinky. How cool is that? It's just so stupid. I wanted something silly for a couple of my cars, just like the wee Acti and that. Um, there's a standard, well not a standard wheel, but like a standard size wheel. This is 230 mil, which it's just stupid. Probably can't drive with it, but I was like, I wanted to buy one. You can get them in Japan, but they were like 230 pound in Japan, and then postage. And obviously that's homemade, technically can't be used on the road and all that, but hey ho, I'm gonna probably use it anyway. And here's me, Maisie. Hey, hen. Hi. Hi. Get out. So, yes, I agree. So, on to the Evo. She's a, I tell you, she's an absolute weirdo. Before we get to the Evo, Maisie has this obsession with this. Bring it here then, bring it here, bring it here. <laughs> Can you not just play with a ball? Yeah, my dog, my dog's a weirdo. It's a, a little trolley hen for putting a barrel on to roll about. She randomly dug it out the corner one day and has been playing with it since. But watch this. This is an evil. That dog, honestly, cracks me up. So this is it. It's a bit rough around the edges, but that's why it was cheap. Starting off, there's a nasty dent in the door, which you can see, and silly stuff like it's had a splitter on it, which is now missing. It does need a tiny bit of welding on this sill here. Somewhere about there. I had it up on the ramp and had a look. And obviously it had that issue with the fuel tank. If the fuel tank's here, I'll show you what I mean. The fuel tank's not bad condition, doesn't look too bad, but it's full of rust. There you go. Look at all the crap that's in there. That's not fuel. God only knows what's all in there. This is the new tank, which is super rusty, but the inside's clean. So I'm gonna try and clean that one up as best I can. I just think it's silly to chuck a fuel tank in that's not painted and rubbed down. Bodywork wise, there's a couple of wee blemishes, there's a wee bubble in the paint there, but it's fairly solid. It's just along the bottom of the doors and thing. It's just a typical Evo, I think. There's some cool modifications on it as well, so I'm just gonna roll it off the ramp now and I'll show you a bit more in depth. <laughs> Yeah, that's it, offloaded, and as you can see from that very fancy camera work I just did, it's not too bad, I mean, see, I'm trying to justify this to myself, that it's, I've bought a great Evo, but, I mean, yeah. Ooh, I'm excited, but then it's like, every single car I buy needs a lot of work, but then again, it's because I don't spend proper money on stuff, it's my own fault. One of my favorite things about these is the interior. I just love the random patterns on the Recaros and thing. And obviously all the door cards are matching, rear seats, etc. But they need a, don't get me wrong, it needs a full valet. And the bolsters are a wee bit squashed, but there's no tears or rips or repairs or anything on it. So that's a plus side. And a very small wheel as well. Not as small as my wheel, or is it? <laughs> it is actually quite a small wheel, but my wheel wins for sure. Imagine driving like an Evo with this, it'd be ridiculous. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is put the jump pack on it, because I don't actually know what miles is on this. I've never even checked that. I mean, you would think that'd be one of the things you would check, but it is me. It's 
It's got an engine, that's a plus sign. Has no radiator cap. It's having a coolant? No coolant either. That's a little bit worrying. Hmm. The hair filter's seen better days as well. It's been rubbing on the bonnet, is it? Christ, I just got a bit of that stuck in my body finger. To pull that out. Okay, it's out. I don't need an ambulance. It's fine. Well, we'll start with modifications from what I can see. It's got coilovers on it. Team coilovers. Not my favourite, but they're on it. Rally out strut brace. Is it real? I actually think it could well be. What else? You never heard of Dave Co. Auto Engineering, but I guess Dave's probably a good guy. Some probably fake rally art stuff there. It's think it's got an Evo 6 turbo. I'm sure that's what I was told. Bigger injectors, bigger Walbro fuel pump, exhaust, and front mount, which is in here somewhere. Is it branded? Probably not. Um, I think that's about it all. I think it's a standard engine, which I've heard nothing but horror stories about. So I am a little worried about crank walk. Seen some really, really, really scary stuff online about them. Uh, obviously the coilovers. The, these wheels have just been powder coated. Not really my thing. OZ racing things. Um, because there's fresh powder coat on them. Probably going to sell them. Modifications inside. Obviously the tiny wheel. It's a random gear knob. Evo 6 ECU. It's got one of them fitted. Um, some Emerge energy drink. A new fuel filter by the looks of it. That's handy. I don't need to order one of them then. Bunch of random wiring. Random stuff. Oh, someone's left their juice in here. Oh, it's got pod gauges on there, which I'm not keen about at all, but they're not exactly the end of the world. Can pull them out. It's got an exhaust on it, which is a stainless system. Don't know what it is. We'll need to check on the ramp. Tell you what, there's some spare parts in the back. We'll open this as well. Okay, big brake kit, which I'm pretty happy about. Don't know what these are off, they're obviously off an Evo, but what Evo? Guessing that's a standard turbo. Yeah, it's got to be a bit plain it though. Yeah, so these these big ass Brembo's. Are these like an Evo 7 or something? Or Evo 7? I don't know my Evos, someone correct me. And an absolutely hideous universal splitter thing that can go in the bin. I think other than that, it's pretty much standard. Have I been stupid? Is there anything else? No, I think that's it. If anybody's an actual evil person, can they enlighten me with a couple of things? Well, obviously this is an evil 4. It was imported in 2007. On the V5, it says it's a Mitsubishi Evo RS. RSs didn't come with the Recaros or any of that stuff, and they did not come with like steel wheels and not electric windows. This has all of that, so I don't think it's an RS, but why is it an RS on the V5? Somebody just thought, I'll put it as an RS and sell it for more. Yeah, I don't know what I'm looking for. Oh, battery, put a battery on it so I can see what mileage is on it. Just notice it's like a homemade battery tree as well. Christ, it's been made out of some pretty thick metal as well. Why? Is there a reason? I mean, strut tops and that, there's a wee bit of surface rust starting, but it doesn't seem bad at all. There's no holes in here. Okay, that mobiliser's having a meltdown. Oh, we've got gauges though. Uh, there we go, hopefully. Ooh. What's the mileage? 94,393. That's actually pretty reasonable. I wonder if it's still in kilometers or whether it's reading miles. 94,393. I'm pretty happy with that. Under 
can't even speak now. Under 100,000 mile, can't really go wrong. Is there a CD in here? No CD, that's a shame. Should, oh. Should I just try and crank it over for the sake of it? See if it even turns over? Not bad, no. Is it the battery? Or? I mean, it turns over slowly, but that's probably my jump pack. Okay, I'm gonna stop being lazy. Need to pull that fuel tank in and start sanding the outside down. Not gonna put it back in until it's painted. Rusty. Not finished. Jesus, this has taken me like half an hour. It's ridiculous, and there's a lot of pitting, so I'm just gonna have to clean it up best I can, put some rust treatment on it, and then cover it in paint, to be fair. But, what is wrong? What is it? Oh, your wee stupid barrel things went under the ramp. Get a real toy. But no, I'm just gonna have to crack on. This is gonna take ages. Okay, it's like, what time is it? 1.45 in the morning, Saturday morning. Rust removal took a lot longer than expected. That has taken me since seven o'clock or something to get all the rust off it, or most of the rust off it, put some rust treatment on it, prime it, and then use some kind of underbody spray. I'll chuck a clip into what it looked like. So you can see, I've got most of the rust off, but that, I guess, Q rust or something, hammerite stuff. Um, it turned the rust a funny color. Don't know if that means if it's working or not, but this is a tank now. It's just had a fresh coat of, um, it's gonna underguard stuff. The heat shield I took off and wax oiled all behind and just did that. Same again, rubbed all the rust off and put some heat resistant paint on that in silver, so it doesn't look too bad to be fair. Hopefully, hopefully that saves it for a bit longer. I just can't get over how long that's taken me. And I'm just thinking, there's rust on the underneath of that Evo where the tank's gonna go, I'm gonna have to rub that off too. Jesus Christ, I need to stop buying old Japanese crap. So that wraps up this video. Not very much has happened, only Evo content. The plan is, while you guys are watching this on Saturday, I'm going to get the tank back in. If I manage to get it in and running, I'll upload another video on Wednesday of it actually running. So yeah, wish me luck please. Bye!